Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Product Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 29. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about how can we use native libraries in our custom library. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. So basically guys, so far in our previous video session, we have developed our user defined library. So if I back to editor, now inside this application folder, under libraries folder, this is a function that we have made called myfunctions.php and this is basically a custom library that we have developed. Now inside this library, we have made two different functions called my uppercase and remove space. These all two functions actually provides several functionalities according to your name. Like my uppercase basically takes an string and it will convert the string value into uppercase as well as remove space takes the string value. After taking that, it will replace the space instead of using underscore character. And successfully, we have called our custom library to our controller. So back to controllers folder. If I open, suppose the file called myURI and inside this file, we have loaded our user defined library and called the, their function. So if I go here and this is the function that we have called. Now inside this video, we are going to discuss about how can you use native libraries. So what basically native libraries are. So back to slides. Now go to second tab. Now inside this native libraries, we have the code igniter provided means the inbuilt libraries of code igniter are basically termed as native libraries like session library, like form validations, file upload, migration, user agent, URI library and finally we have called input library. Apart from this list, we have multiple libraries in our code igniter framework. Now these are rapidly used. That's why we had discussed about those. After this video, it means that inside video number 30, we will discuss about input library in Code Igniter. So these are called native libraries. So question is here that how can we use or just we are going to use these libraries to our custom library. So how can we achieve that? So back to our code editor, go to our user defined define library and inside that we are going to load first. So first of all, I am going to make a constructor function. So let's say public function this is construct this is all about the constructor of this my function class now inside this constructor i'm going to make an object of the coordinator application so let's say that public and let's say that this is a variable something let's say ci now inside this ci variable i'm going to initialize our coordinator object so how can we do that so this CI. This CI refers to this variable. Now inside that, I'm going to make something called this is reference operator and we are going to use a function something called get instance. So what basically get instance function will do? Get instance function basically returns the the instance of our coordinator application. Now why we have used the ampersand symbol here? So basically, we are going to use the main object of our code editor application instead of making a copy of that. This refers to the object instance reference. It means that if I go to slide, now get instance basically returns the object of CI. Now we are going to use called ampersand symbol in front of this function. So if I copy pasting it here, so we are going to use this functions object directly, not making a copy of this object. So back to editor. Now directly we are going to use this object. Now by the help of this object, actually we will call about the helpers or the libraries or the native functionalities basically a coordinator provides. So let's say that if I go here and let's say that public function let's say that my base url inside this function we are going to return the base url now as we know that so if i go inside this function let's say that this load helper 
and inside this helper we are going to load called URL helper. Now inside here as we can see that we have called this helper by using this this reference. Basically this reference works if we are on the controller but remember this is our user defined library so how can we use this URL helper. So to use that we are going to use this CI variable. So apart from this let's say this and the CI. Basically this CI refers to our code generator object. So by the help of this object we have to load our helper and this is our URL helper. So let's say that return base underscore URL. So if I save this file, copy this function, go to our controller and if I make comment of these lines so let's say that echo this is our my functions so let's say my functions this is our library and inside that library we have a method something called my base url so if i save this file back to our browser and let's say that index.php and what actually the route we have made so back here and this is all about custom hyphen library so if i copy that route go here pasting it here and just press enter. Now as we can see that it returned the base URL. So if I back to editor and let's say that I am going to make comment of this line means we have no, no loaded our helper your helper inside this method. So before loading we are going to use called the base URL method. So just save this file back to our browser reload this page and now as we can see that call to undefined function something called base underscore url. So to use this function basically we have to load our url helper. That's why we have made something called this ci. This is a object of gate instance means code igniter object. Now inside our library let's make a function which basically stores the session variables. So let's say public function let's say that my session inside this my session method I'm going to load our library and something called this CI reference variable of our coding editor object and it will load something called library and natty library is something called session. By the help of this session we are going to store some values and we are going to print those values. So let's say that this my session or let's say my session store Basically this method will store our values inside a session. So let's say that value. Now we are going to store that. So this let's say CI and inside this CI let's say session and session has a method something called set underscore user data. Now inside this method the first value we have to pass as the key name. So let's say that we are going to store our value inside this name key and inside that this is the value that we are going to store that. So if I copy this value and pasting it here. Now from this statement we have clear that we are going to store this value inside this name key and by the help of our natty library called session. So let's say that another function we are going to use that let's say public function let's say my session and get by the help of this method actually we are going to retrieve our session value and we have to pass the key name so let's say that firstly we have to load our library so this ci and let's load library and inside that we are going to write our session library and let's say that inside this function we will retrieve the value so this ci let's say session and it has a function sorry method something called user data and let's say that this is the key that we want to get the value from so let's say that return so if I save this function copy this function name go to controller and if I make comment of this line or let's say that firstly we are going to store the value inside session so let's say this my function and inside this my functions library we have something called my session store and inside that we are going to store the name something called online web tutor 
So if I go to browser, pressing enter, now by pressing enter, it actually calls this my session store method. And inside that, we have passed a value, something called online web tutor. It will take value from here and it has stored inside this name key. Now we are going to drive that. So if I make comment of this line and let's say that echo this, let's say my functions and inside this my functions, we have a method something called my session get. So copy that, pasting it here and inside that get, we have to pass the key name. So remember, we have used the key something called name here. So copy that, pasting it here, save this file, back to browser and reload this page. Now as we can see that here is the value what we have stored inside the name key. Also, inside this function, we can move, make this function as more dynamic. How can we make that? Just we have to write key and the value and this let's say that this key also be dynamic. So if I save this file, go to my URI, just uncomment this line and inside the first key, we have to pass the key name. So let's say that we are going to make a key, something called email and we are going to store our email address. So let's say abcd at gmail.com. So if I save this file and also we want to take the value of this email. So I'm going to break this line by br tag, save this file, go here, reload this page. Now as we can see that this is our email address. Now go to again to our custom library inside that I'm going to make a function and basically that function returns all the values that we have stored inside our session. So let's say function my all session data inside that firstly we have to load that so this ci let's say library and we are going to load something called session and what basically this function will do this function will return so let's say this ci session and inside session we have a method something called all underscore user data so this function will return all the values that we have stored inside session so just save this file copy this method name go here so first of all just comment this line and let's say that print r inside that we have defined this my function as our custom library and this is the method that we have developed. So if I save this file back here, reload this page. Now here we have some error, something called call to undefined method library. This is on our custom library line number 31. So just back to editor on line number 31 and this is something here and I think that this is the load that actually we have to forgo to add. So if I save this file, back to browser, reload this page. Now as we can see that these all values we have stored inside session and this is our base URL. So basically guys, inside this video, the main concern is that how can we load our native libraries to use in our custom libraries. So the main points that we need to keep in our mind, so just back to editor, first of all, to use any native library, we have to make an instance of our code writer application. And remember, if we just forget to read right here, it also made an instance and stored inside this variable. But remember, this makes an replica of this object. It means that we are going to make a copy of this object. But actually we are not going to make any copy of this object. We are going to use the real object. It means that we are going to use the address of the coordinator object. That's why we have passed the ampersand symbol here. After making this instance object, we are free to use any helper, any library of our coordinator application. Now apart from this, we have seen about how can we use our helper library by using this object. Also, we have seen that how can we use the session library inside our custom library. Now, in the same way, guys, you can use all the native libraries what we have seen so far. In the next video session, guys, we will discuss about input library. This is also an inbuilt library of coordinator application. 
So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.